Hello everyone, I am Tacit, and today I'm going to be going over the new Gems of War Mythic of Flame of Anu. It is available in the Glory Gem Guild and VIP chest for this week only, and then it'll be in the drop table with everything else. So basically every key except gold keys and event keys, as the new mythics uh, always are. Uh, anyways, as far as this mythic, it is pretty useless, probably worth skipping. However, we will still be going over it anyways. As far as this troop, if we go over to Unowned, as far as what it does, uh, it does a uh, deal 40 damage. Two of the first two enemies boosted by burning and fairy fire, and it should stack for 10 additional damage per enemy if they were all burning fairy fired for a total of 40 damage, theoretically 80 given that it hits uh, two enemies. As far as its traits, they are all useless except for its final trait, which is a burn fairy fire. Uh, this generally isn't going to be too good for the most part, even though those are both uh, decent mechanics. Burning is normally used for triple damage on skull spam teams, and fairy fire, of course, gives you 50% additional spell damage so that you can end up doing that for uh, higher spell casting. However, very, very Early or both of them kind of used together. I guess you can maybe make that work by using some triple damage uh, pokes and then getting like a double kill off the double fairy fire kind of thing. So maybe that could end up working. In most instances, I feel like Queen Atani will be better for the fairy fire. Not only does she have a better ability that has an extra turn potential and hits all enemies, but still has a good boost ratio. And in uh, many instances, as far as burning, you would use Infernus and other similar options to uh, end up getting that done. So, uh, and Zugoff and stuff like that. But uh, I don't really feel like it's going to find any kind of purpose. Seems kind of lackluster. But none Nonetheless, uh, it does have a okay typing. It is Divine Beast, so it can get 40% uh, mana start off of Divine Ishbala and a 50% mana start off of uh, Forest Guardian, that one that is a 50% Beast one, uh, which hasn't been used much lately, but uh, still kind of works as green-yellow for its coloration, so it kind of would end up working out into it. But uh, yeah, there is a way to mana start him at least, so at least he has that going for him, but overall, going to be kind of average to below average. Anyways, let's go and open some keys, see if we can get this thing. Well, we're definitely going to get this thing. We're going to keep going. Going until we do and then from there we'll go and uh, show some teams as uh, we always do um it's not really one i would really advise using much hey we got a tesla though that's something i definitely advise using and a queen of tanya we're going to need that for the uh the troop that we're about to get as uh, one of the teams will end up using queen of tanya with it if only we can actually get the drop uh let's see we started with what about 2300 keys uh we do have a surplus right now so hopefully we can kind of maintain a surplus also i always open these 50 at a time rather than 200 just so we don't over waste the keys uh, that's the main reason for that. But, uh, hopefully we'll get it somewhat soon. Ideally, you'd get it in about a thousand. Uh, that's about the average for a myth. It can take more, can be less. But around that thousand mark is, uh, where they tend to average out. And we're about to hit that thousand mark any moment now. Double Divinia. Anything else in here? Oh, yeah, that new, uh, Legend. I think I already got it maxed with an orb or something. Or maybe event keys. But, uh, yeah, that new Legend's finally back in drop table. It came out, I believe, early October, I think. That one goblin that has that extra turn. There it is. Flame of Anu. So that takes a little over a thousand. Oh, you got a Yagwe too, which will actually be somewhat decent with it. But there he is. Let's go get him upgraded. And uh, yeah, that's almost dead center on a thousand. I think 1,100. So not too bad. Anyways, let's go get this thing in. It's one of many Anu troops getting buried with all the Anu troops now that there are so many. Let's just go dump it into all of these teams here. Go get him upgraded and see what he can do. And by that, I mean show how awful he is. <laughs> also, Barkus is kind of very similar to him. It deals damage to the first two enemies and then burns and fairy fires. It's a rather low rarity. Well, it's epic, but still somewhat ra low rarity. That uh, is actually relatively similar to him, oddly enough, for a much lower mana cost. But anyways, let's go get this thing upgraded. As he is a mythic, let me wise, we'll just go and use um, ourselves some uh, orbs. So we'll go use that to get it up maxed. And I'll use these small ones. I feel like I always use the bigger ones. So instead of having to convert them, we have like <laughs> we have like infinite of these. So we might as well use them. And uh, there we go. Okay. So now that we got this thing as max as max can be, what's this damage output? Still the same? That's weird. Okay, well, let's go set to uh, magic. I think we might want a little bit more into magic. I'll do 20% too, just because most of these will probably have a weird mana start. I'm going to try selling you that. No, thank you. Okay, let's get into some battles. Now that we got this guy all ready to go. Oh, gosh, I didn't see what our teams were beforehand. Uh, we got an annoying goblin team. Hopefully, we can take it out immediately. So, first variant. A little bit of a Yagwe Queen of Tanya build going on. Uh, standard Yagwe Queen of Tanya might still end up being stronger than this. However, I figured I'd do it into the combo. As uh, now you have two things that can end up applying Fairy Fire. Um, so, as you can see, his whole entire team is pretty much um, uh, a stats effect. The only reason his first slot isn't is because he has immune. Uh, we also have triple damage burning on our uh, first slot as well. Uh, which generally you're going to be using when you're using this guy. Uh, so right here, uh, we don't have too much that we can end up doing, so we'll go use the new troop. 
Uh, so it looks like it does gain boost ratio per every single instance. We kind of already knew this, but that just kind of confirms it. For right now, he has a burning, a fairy fire, and a fairy fire. So he has a three boost ratio for 15 additional damage, theoretically 30 in a sense that, you know, he hits two uh, enemies. So let's go for that. Get our double poke there. I really wish he applied uh, burning and fairy fire to what he hits. Kind of like that other troop does. It's kind of weird that he doesn't. So go for this for auto extra turn as Quintetania is such a better option. And then we'll go kill it out. And there we go. Boom. And obviously Yagwe synergizes into it because they both hit the first two uh, slots. So that kind of worked out pretty smoothly. However, it was mostly Yagwe, Queen Titania carrying the Mythic. But uh, hey, the Mythic still got to do a little something in it. Gosh, we got another annoying Goblin team. Can we get something else other than that this morning? Uh, but anyways, next up we're going to do a little bit more of a Skull Spam oriented team. This one actually uses Infernus as well so we can get that four times burning. Basically meaning we're using the guy just to refresh the uh, burn as well as the uh, more so for the Fairy Fire. Uh, but here we'll actually Frozen on red so I can't go for that we could just take it normal if we want uh, we're not frozen on skulls though so i guess we'll go for that instead since we're frozen on the other option he's gonna get a lot of mana here that's gonna be rather concerning uh, i kind of just want to go for a bunch of mana however we do have that triple damage there uh so we might as well use it while we can uh we're not frozen on blue so we can't take that safely however we are frozen on red so we can't really take that we will take it that way though just to get a little bit more mana unfortunately i trip a little bit short uh this doesn't actually give us extra turn however i will take it for the mana uh we can then go cast this thing uh even with fairy fire and boost ratio i don't know if that's enough damage he's gonna be hitting 80 so it's 120 damage with the fairy fire or sorry um no that's right uh 30 a 50 is 80 and then yeah so 120 um that's obviously not enough damage Hmm. I guess we just poke him. Can you stop reviving? That'd be great. How many times has he revived? I have been keeping track of this battle. It's way too many. <laughs> Whatever number it is, it is way too many. Okay, let's go get our double kill here so we can get two more resummons. Uh, one interesting thing about this, and probably one of its only benefit compared to something like Queen Atania, is he does have immune to submerge in the sense that he hits the first two enemies. So even if there's only two enemies left, he'll still end up hitting them even if they are submerged. So, um, yeah, he uh, doesn't have to worry about submerge. It's one of his only few benefits. Uh, not really worth a big enough benefit to um, qualify actually using him in many instances. However, it is something nonetheless. Uh, well, then Furnace is about to go use. That's a fail. So we do have this Doom weapon here. Uh, I was kind of going to use this to try to convert all of our reds into uh, Doom Skulls. I uh, haven't really had the chance to do that because it just does not want to give us our mana that we need. And it still doesn't really want to give us that mana that we need. And now he's trying to steal all my gold so we don't even get some extra loot. Uh, well, let's go for this. We do have alignment. Can he stop getting a billion revives? Uh, has anyone kept track how many revives he's got in this battle? I'm pretty sure his first slot has revived over 10 times. Uh, what do we go for here? Do we even have a thingy over here? We can go for Divine. We're not frozen on anything, so we're going to have to go for that right now. Uh, oh, yeah. I thought that would be Skull. Whoops. Mistakes have been made. Uh, is that extra turn? No. Do we still go for it? Tempting. No, he didn't get Skull for Sky. But uh, he should be pretty dead. I believe that's enough damage to kill it out right there. And uh, there we go. Mythic, you weren't much of a help. <laughs> But uh, we still got the kill there. And lastly, the super cheap team uh, to end up using this with. So the low rarity team. We got it with the Bogus. He ends up doing burns and fairy fires, which greatly helps increase his flame of Anu's boost ratio. Uh, since we have the uh, little bit of extra uh, boost ratio based on that. Um, but yeah, should end up working out pretty good synergy. Uh, this is basically the alternative if you don't end up getting this mythic. Bogus is basically the same thing as a much lower rarity. And he has like half the mana cost. So even though his ability is obviously not as effective, it's still pretty good. Uh, and um, if you want an alternative to this mythic, if you don't have it, just get yourself a Bargus. It is an epic rarity and completely off of random drops from chess. But uh, if you get your hands on it, it's basically the mythic that they added today. Uh, it's essentially the same thing, just slightly different. And here we get our... Uh, you actually get the target too where you want to go instead of just hitting the front. Oh, he has immune fail. Uh, <laughs> you still have to watch out for burn immunity uh, troops. That's still a thing. They still have their immunities. But um, yeah, you can actually target what you want. Other like this guy who is forced to hit... Uh, right up front. Uh, so I'm actually going to go for skull poke since he uh, took less damage there anyways. Go for a double poke right there. Uh, we can go and clean him up with the uh, little fairy fire burn right over there. That puts his hero very vulnerably. I am using titan with this. One is because it's more versatile, but also it's a lot safer in early game. We also get barrier every brown and this team is a little bit brown heavy. And here we can go for another Bargus, which at this point is proving itself to be stronger than the mythic. Uh, we'll go for another mountain crusher there. And, uh, let's see. That would be very fitting if we actually win with Bargus. But I'll let the Mythic actually get the final hit. Unless a random Skull decides otherwise. And it almost did. We'll let the Mythic finish it out. And, uh, there we I forgot we don't have to target it. Auto targets the, uh, first slots. But, uh, there we go. That is the Mythic. Is it worth getting? No. 
<laughs> do not try getting this mythic unless you have more mythics like if you have more than half the mythics in the game generally you try going for like uh, any new mythic that ever ends up coming out it's because it's better to get a new mythic that is useless than a old mythic that is uh uh that you already had a copy of but uh overall this thing is very very underwhelming what's the other uh leonis empire uh mythic real quick let's just double check that i believe it was vespera actually forget uh leonis empire where's your other mythic uh, Leonis Empire, you're in alphabetical order. Still can't find it. There we go. So the other mythic from this kingdom is... I'm trying to see if it's better than the other mythic. Voice of Orpheus. Ooh. They're both kind of bad. I still feel like Voice of Orpheus is better. Um, it's the only troop in the game that has both Impervious with a full team cleanse. Um, so that's this biggest gimmick. Uh, particularly against, like, Silence. It's actually pretty good. That's why it's called Voice of Orpheus. Um... But yeah, I would say Voice of Orpheus is a better utility troop to have than the new one that came out today. Like, if you had to choose between one or the other. I feel like I have never used Voice of Orpheus for, like, two years now. But uh, it does have a purpose within the game, at least. The Impervious plus Cleanse combo that it has. Uh, I still feel like it needs a 2 times boost ratio, though, off its thing. And a little bit more damage, since it doesn't boost off itself. But, uh... It's a pretty lackluster troop, but it's less lackluster than the mythic we got today. Uh, between Bargus and Queen Titania, there's like really no need to use the new mythic. Bargus basically is the mythic as an epic, and Queen Titania is still a better fairy fire option. Even though she only does fairy fire instead of fairy fire burn, her uh, base uh, ability is just way stronger and has extra turn potential. Uh, whereas compared to this thing, it just has so much of a liability. And overall, yeah, probably worth skipping this mythic. That is basically the bottom line. Anyways, guys, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I'll be streaming a little bit uh, later this afternoon and uh, doing, I believe we have invasions, if I'm not mistaken. We got some kind of, uh, of game mode right now. Yeah, we got invasions. So that should be pretty straightforward. Actually, you already mentioned the team on uh, Monday. But just to re-show it real quick. We'll be doing it on stream as well. We're probably just going to be using this. Double Cloud Stalker, Rage Weaver, or basically any weapon you want. And Sun Weaver is basically what we're doing. We're just doing this for the Reds to feed back to the East. And this will just like one shot everything. And that's pretty much the game plan. But anyways, guys, I'll wrap it up for this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave it below. Thank you all so much for watching. Best of luck in trying to get the Mythic if you are going to try attempting it. Even though it's pretty bad Mythic. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.